Hey there, it's Patricia. I just wanted to drop in really quickly. This month I launched three of the online HSP courses and I got some feedback from somebody in the course. So I wanna to read to you what they wrote in an email just because I think it's really powerful. I am just really amazed. It's interesting, I've got three groups and the flavor and tone of each group is just really different. And what somebody said was they really didn't wanna join a, you know, a course because they're just so drained and depleted. And what they're finding is that this is really a course that's set up to nourish their soul, to meet them where they're at. I think as highly sensitive people, we're so accustomed to fitting into the world where most of the people are not highly sensitive. And so it's a really new concept to be able to show up to a group and, um, hey, Emily, to be able to show up to a group that's really designed for you if you need to take a break, if you need to not talk, if you need to stand up and stretch, whatever works for you. And I, I think that we're so unaccustomed to having things that are tailored to our needs. We're so used to having to deplete and figure out what we're supposed to do and fit in. So I wanna read you feedback that one of the people in the groups wrote. And so I've gotta get my phone unlocked because it didn't stay unlocked and read. So what she said is, thank you all. This work and support is exactly what I knew I needed and wanted from the group before it began what I had hoped it would mean to me, and you are all better than I could have imagined possible. When it comes to compassion and space and understanding and support, it really means the world, the world to me. And I read that so it sounds really awkward. And then we had talked about that often what happens for us is when we've got wounding and we're adults and we need to do challenging things, we often feel like there's a little kid inside. And so one of the things we talked about, and I said in a very loving, compassionate way, is like, you're a grown ass woman. And so she says, and I keep telling myself, I'm a grown ass woman. Thanks for that, Patricia. I just, there's so much power when we are in environments that are supportive. And what I'm hearing from almost everybody in each of the groups is it's really hard to show up and to be our authentic selves because we're in environments and with groups of people that don't understand and don't honor what it's like to have big feelings and big thoughts. And so we kind of compartmentalize. We sort of have our professional face that we put on that's very guarded and really hides our heart. And then we hold it together so much that then sometimes we end up falling apart and exploding. And so we're talking about how do we kind of honor all the different parts of us and figure out, you know, who gets to go to which thing, but to not let things build and build and build till they explode and we have a breakdown. So I'm just gonna be hopping on periodically and sharing with you some of the things that are coming up because it's so exciting to me when I see growth in people and people changing and getting what they need and what they want and what they haven't been able to get before. A lot of what we worked on last night was, you know, how wounded we feel in those messages and how hard it is when somebody hears something like, you're loved, you matter, all your feelings are okay. You can show up any way that you need to. There's nothing wrong with you. That those messages can be incredibly healing when we haven't had them. And how can we start giving ourselves those messages to create the healing that we need? Because many of us did not get that message. We, we got, you know, were there too much or not enough? And so we have this kind of thing of how we show up in the world is not okay. Anyways, I wanted to keep this brief. Remember, sensitivity is nothing to apologize for. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.